Hello there, today I just would like to show you a little quick tutorial on how you can connect your iOS device, be it an iPhone or an iPad, to your computer and have it MIDI synced uh, and also be able to send uh, MIDI messages from your MIDI controller that you have set up to your, connected to your computer um, without the need of using an Apple camera connection kit. So all you will need for this to happen is have your iPad connected to your computer via the lightning cable that comes with the device and you will need to install this software, MIDI Meter. It's a free software that basically syncs up your iOS device to your um, computer via MIDI. It's pretty cool. So you'll need to download this software on your iPad and on your computer, install it on both of the devices and launch them. And once you have everything launched and everything is set up correctly, you will see that up here that the uh, iPad is communicating with your computer via MIDI meter. Um, it's a pretty straightforward setup, there's not much to do. Um, and I'm going to show you now how this works in Ableton Live. I have uh, here a basic audio track setup, which is basically monitoring my output of the iPad and the MIDI channel with which I would like to show you later how you can trigger your uh, app on your iPad. But before we do anything, we have to go to the preferences and make sure that uh, we have MIDI meter actually correctly set up. So you need to go to MIDI sync tab and make sure that the output for MIDI LE USB destination has track on, sync on, and remote set to on. Basically what this does is that ensures that MIDI communication is happening between your computer and your iPad via the MIDI meter program. Okay? So I have a basic drum beat set up in a Gadget. I'll be using Chord Gadget app as a you know, tool to demonstrate this. And uh, in Chord Gadget, you will need to set uh, MIDI sync with the, inside the app to external MIDI sync. I'm sure that for other music apps, it's slightly different, but the principle is the same. So you need to find where, where you're in your app where you can set uh, the nature of the MIDI synchronization. So it's either usually internal, external, and in this case we need external. So all that is set up and I have a basic drum pattern running in uh, Gadget. And if I just um, click record here, it should launch the drum pattern in uh, Gadget and I should be able to record and hear what's happening in Gadget right now. So let's click record. And we do hear that uh, the beat is coming through. Let's show that it's synced up by changing the tempo. There you go. So it's in sync and it's triggering the application. So this is working. Other thing I would like to show you is how you can use your um, MIDI controller that you have connected to your computer to actually trigger your app on your iPad. So I have my MIDI channel armed. I have the MIDI 2 here set to MIDI LE USB. This is important because this is the channel with which you'll be sending MIDI information out to your uh, iOS device. So you set this up to MIDI LE USB. And um, I'm just going to record a couple of hits So just basic stuff, but uh, proves that you know that it's working. So uh, this is it basically. It's pretty cool. As I said, no Apple Camera Connection Kit needed. It's completely free and works like a charm. It also has a Bluetooth option. So if you have a Bluetooth compatible device, you won't even need to connect your Lightning cable, but rather use Bluetooth. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So if you have the chance, check it out. Enjoy it. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.